An another thing I've noticed is that I, f I feel like part of the reason is I feel like there's a lot of tools in the modern day and age that kind of can act as friendship simulators or loneliness like parasocially you mean or not not just not not even like not even just like parasocially but mm. something to make you trick to trick yourself into th making you feel less lonely even though <laughs> On the, it's on called distractions. Yeah, right? it's, called, it's, called, it's, called, it's called distractions. Well, it's, it's okay. like, uh, you know, I think we grew up when that was all kicking off. Yeah. You know, we, we had the internet, we had games. Uh, and at the time there was a lot of speculation from like boomers being like, damn, these kids, just, they're just not learning the life lessons that we yeah. needed. And, you know, I think it's a lot of fucking horse shit. I think most people manage to have a completely well-adapted life. But the more it goes on the, and the older we get, the more I think, yeah, I mean, I I had a fine time with it, mm. but I think a lot of people probably did not adapt as well as they could have yeah. because yeah. they were so surrounded <clears throat> by video games. And I realized I was kind of fortunate that my parents did force me a bunch to socialize or go out, even if even when I hated it. Like yeah. I, did, I did not want to yeah. at all. I mm. fucking despised it. Yeah. But I realize now that I'm older, I'm like, that was probably necessary that my parents fucking pulled my Xbox plug out and forced me to go outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it, it sucks to admit, cause I'm like, Damn, this boom is a little bit, a part of me thinks that they were kind of right. Like, <laughs> I, right. like I think if I had unfettered access to just playing fucking mini clip games, like yeah. nine hours a day and I didn't talk to anyone, I'd probably be a little weird. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, and I, I, you know, I think, I think it's uh, cause we just don't know. We have no idea what is gonna happen mm. from all this online uh, access that, no, no, I'm not playing the internet, I'm saying the fact that we're just distracted 24 seven, we yeah. don't really have to worry about being lonely. Cause you can also like, let's be honest, like, if you're feeling a little bit lonely, just fucking boot up a game and you'll be you'll be, you'll yeah. be distracted until you fall asleep. Put on a Twitch stream, watch Trash Taste, yeah. you know. It's, watch a movie. Yeah. And like that does it for the most part, but then I guess after a while of that, it maybe that those emotions kind of creep in and be a bit too overwhelming, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you're not prepared for it. Mm. I, it's just, I don't know. It, it's a, it's, I find that we've, we kind of, <laughs> we like adopted all this stuff and all this uh, way of living and we didn't really think about how it kind of affected us. And now even I'm like, you know, I sometimes I'm, I'm watching shit. I'm like, man, I wish I just was hanging out with people instead. Mm. <laughs> but I'm, I'm too deep in the source. Like, yeah, okay. I don't know, it's weird. It's such a weird thing that I'm battling with and trying to understand myself. <laughs> okay. It's almost like you don't know what exactly you want, right? It's like, cause, it's, you're, cause you're content in the moment of like, oh yeah, you know, this game is sick or like, oh, I'm, you know, watching this YouTube well, it's video. it's like procrastination, blah, blah, blah. right? Like I know yeah. I need to do something, but I also know that uh, I can fool myself by playing games for two hours. Mm, yeah. And I'm like, what is that? What, what, like, what is happening in my brain there where I'm able to do that? Mm, yeah. able to like push that thing away and not worry about it. Cause mm. it's like, I was watching these YouTube videos where people would, um, it was like a guy, great, I forgot the name of the channel. It's a really good video uh, in general, this whole channel. He just basically just coached people through their finances who, who just fucked up. Oh yes, I've seen that. And it's yeah, like yeah. these people, you're watching them, you know, and they would, they would like get into like really bad debt and they would just keep making like really bad financial choices. Yeah. And then they'd be like, hey, did you know you got to pay this bill to like the IRS? And they're like, yeah, I know. I, you know, I just haven't got around to it. And I'm like, okay, like, I feel like that pattern of pushing it away is exactly what is like kind of stems from the same behavior of like procrastination with like video yeah. games or work where it's like, okay, I don't want to deal with this problem. So I just distract myself. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, I feel better for at least X amount of time till I remember again. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I have to distract myself again. And, go to, and it's, it, it reminded me of like the same kind of behavioral pattern, but just way bigger impacts on your life detrimentally. Yeah, uh, yeah. Than opposed to just <clears throat> procrastinating. Yeah, I, I used to have such a bad problem with that when I was a kid. Like, I always like whenever my parents would ask me to do something, or I had like some like homework obligations, or you know some obligations I had as a, as a kid, and you know I'd always have this bad habit of being like, ah, oh, yeah, I'll just do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So I'll yeah. just do it tomorrow. I'll do it the next day. And my mom like said it best. She's <laughs> like, if you say you can do it tomorrow, you can do it today. Yeah, yeah. And like that kind of made me realize like, oh fuck, yeah. I'm like, this is a bad habit to get in, in oh, any, yeah. In yeah, any right. aspect, financial yeah. or not, any aspect, just be like, don't, it's it's just it's copium. Like don't yeah. don't huff the copium. You know, yeah. like you gotta if if there's shit you gotta do, then you gotta do it. You know? Yeah, because like you know, even even for me, like as a, I, I think I'm like a fucking heavy introvert, right? Mm. Um, I think. 
I'm very lucky now to, you know, be married. Mm. Uh, and I always have someone who- The fucking virgin. <laughs> oh, no, right. Imagine being married. <laughs> no, like every time I'm feeling just a tiny bit lonely, I can just hang out with Sydney, who's also my yeah. best friend at yeah, the same yeah. time. And I'm just like, I never feel lonely anymore. And mm. that's just like, I know I'm blessed. And I feel that because every time Sydney takes her either, I'm on. Uh, I'm away from Sydney, or she's on a work holiday or something. Even if it's just a week, I have like after about th after like after like the first three days of like the honeymoon period, I'm like, I can do whatever I want. I don't have to. I don't have to worry. I can watch all the anime I want, and yeah. I don't have to worry what Sydney's watching and all that. After that period is over, I'm like. Damn, the house is really empty right now. Yeah, the, 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 who do I who do I who do I talk to? And then and then then that's the point when I start like messaging people to hang out more often. Uh, you can normally tell mm. when I when I'm feeling that like void in my life, yeah. mm. um, because I think uh, a big part of it is that I think I think it was when in university when I first started to really feel the loneliness. Uh, creep in because mm. you know in university you were like surrounded by so many people and I couldn't no matter how many people I was surrounded with I could never stop that feeling of just like loneliness mm. uh, because I wasn't so socially adjusted back then because going into like from high school to university um so like to basically combat that I remember I just like I had this like month period where I just tried to go out like almost every single day and hang out <laughs> with whomever, whomever, whomever. I, I think that's, right? I think that's like a thing. Cause I did that too. Did you do that as well? I think that's just like a thing that every college student goes through at <laughs> one point in their life. Yeah. Like, it's just, I think that's just like universal with all college students. Cause I, yeah, I did that exact same thing. And yeah. I was just like, yeah, it just kind of came over me one day and I was just like, fuck. I'm like, I'm just like not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. And there's like right? no one around me. I yeah. should probably go out and like meet people. Yeah, yeah. and I, cause, cause now like, I feel like, you know, we talked about our online friends, real mm. friends, and yes, they definitely can be real friends, but I think there is nothing that can be substituted for hanging out with someone like IRL. Face yeah, you, face. You, you absolutely. Need that, you need yeah. that, uh, that, that like physical That connection. human touch. Yeah, that human touch. I, cause I, cause I feel like, you know, even sometimes when we talk in Discord, when we're doing like a, like a kind of collab or something on something, mm. the dynamic just shifts like a little bit. Mm. You know what I mean? There's some, there's like, there's something that's missing there that you don't get. Well, that's a big reason why we want a trash taste to be IRL, right? Yeah. Cause of that exact reason. You know, I think, when you lose that, like paying attention to each other's eye contact or mm -hmm. body language, or you know somebody paying attention one hundred percent, like th those are all things that like really don't exist when you're like on a Zoom call. Yeah, because like, I can fucking play video games and talk to someone. Like, yeah, and I I can make it seem like I'm paying attention one hundred percent. Yeah, not not that it's a good thing, but because you know because I I'm like oh yeah I'm it's like it's not stimulating enough because you're not like taking in all the senses right yeah like, mm. I don't know it's it's so I. It's so necessary to have that, I think. Um, I think eye contact's like such a massive thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, 100%. yeah. You know, remember during like the COVID times when you'd get on a call with a mate that you hadn't seen for a while uh, and then the camera would just be like on the side like that. You'd, you just see them, you'd look at each other, looking at a screen and not looking at yeah. the camera, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and, and you were talking to each other, but it didn't feel like you were communicating with each yeah. other. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the word to use is, but there was, there was a barrier there that I never like could get used to no like matter. Like they're hearing you, but they're not listening. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm like, are you like alt tab? Am I like second monitor like content yeah. right now? Are you fucking alt tabbing on <laughs> YouTube right now? What, what, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Yeah. Um, and I feel like with a real human connection, um, there is there is nothing that just substitutes hanging out in person, being there, making eye contact with mm. them. And sure, you can you can you can have a fun time hanging out online and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like if you never meet up in real life and you like and once you meet up in real life, it's kind of hard to go back to online. That's yeah. that's what I've noticed yeah, as well. That's true. Yeah. That, I, I think that's why I find it so hard to do like collabs with other content creators when it's like online because mm. I've just gotten so used with trash taste now yeah. and a lot of other content that we do where we are hanging out IRL mm. and it feels so much more genuine to me. Right? Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. yeah I prefer in person collaborations. Mm, yeah. It's definitely more worthwhile.